Max, it's Hillmanator. Happy December 1st! Figured today I would do a flat tour. My flat is on the first floor, so let's go! Let's start off with my room. So this is your view when you come into my room. Behind the door, you've got my coats, my jackets and my umbrella just to the side of it. And then down here, you have a couple of weights and my uh, very successful doorstop. Successful in the fact that it can't actually stop the door. Just next to that, you have my wardrobe, which I've organized into jumpers, t-shirts, trousers, sportswear, and underwear. And next to that, you have my lovely shirts and jackets section. Just above that, you have my belts, scarves, and ties. And down here, you have my socks and shoes. Next to the wardrobe, you have my desk. We're gonna start up the top of my desk. Um, by the way, just on top of my wardrobe is just some storage for bags and whatnot. But on top of my desk, I have my helmet for my electric scooter, my shot glasses. Then I have the one drinking game that I actually own. I have a couple of other games. Then we move down and here you can see I have my Pop Funkos protecting my DVD and gaming collection. Over here I've got my music, my iron. Now I actually bought the iron thinking that I would need it but I didn't realise that my room had one already. So when you're coming to uni, check what you've got in your itinerary. Then I've got my photo album and some folders, spare bits of paper and whatnot. This shelf is just kind of an amalgam shelf designed to keep pretty much anything that I need like for short term purposes up there. Then you've got my record collection and my books which are being presided over by Free Dragons and a Viking Longboat. If you go down here we've got my light, uh, my controller and some pins and whatnot. We've got the cards that I was given when I moved. Uh, my chord sheet for when I'm playing guitar, my winter ball ticket, obviously my laptop, when you're coming to uni you need a laptop. I've got candles here as well. Now I'm not allowed to light them, but I've got them here anyway. Um, then as we move further across you'll see I've got my accessories, my, uh, my funky accessories, which is on top of the book that I am currently reading. I've just got a pen there as well. My TV uh, remote my printer and on top of my printer I've got a whole load of files that I am going through at the moment. Underneath my desk I have my washing drawer and also my um, my day bag for my regular stuff at uni. In these drawers now I've got my stationery, I've got just spare bits of paper that I might need and in this last one, I've just got random tools and stuff that could come in handy. On my windowsill, let's start with Darth Vader, the uh, noble man that he is. What a brilliant guy. Then next to him I have, oh look, it's Darth Vader. Um, then I keep all of my cosplay weapons behind him. Next to that, I've got my Magic the Gathering set. Then I have this board. Now, this is I use to quote to people when they say something funny. So, um, one of my friends, her, it doesn't make sense unless you understand the context, but he said, you have very good math speed. Then I've got my Tupperware set, which I don't know why I keep it in my room, but I do. And just next to that is Christmas. Um, my Christmas tree and my advent calendar, obviously. Now, down here, you've got my drying rack, my lacrosse stick, because I play lacrosse, and just a bit further down, you have some protein. Sorry about my fingers. Then, over here, I've got a table. Just underneath the table, I've got my amplifier, some bags, and my stuff for when my friends come over because I had one over recently. On the table I have my record player down here 
Up here I have my Alexa voice remote from my Fire Stick. Um, I've got a dual remote charger for my PlayStation remotes. I've got a spare plectrum and I have a disc because I forgot to bring the disc cover for it. Around here you'll see I've got my PlayStation itself and my TV which is not plugged into anything so the BBC can't tell me off. I have, this is where I keep my guitar, my bow and as you can see there's a couple of extra things around here right now. That would be because all of my family's Christmas presents are back there so I don't want them seeing it. As we move on over we've got my map, which I actually stole the idea for this from another YouTuber called Jack Edwards. Yeah, so we're in. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's amazing! I didn't know you should get to that! Now that is an excellent question. Yes, I am dressed as a Friday. If you haven't seen him, go check him out. He's really great. But um, basically, I have put pins in everywhere that I have spent any period of time in, so like at least a week living in. Just above my map you'll see I have my uh, my wall planner. Uh, now we did actually get given one of these during Freshers Week, but I had already bought one which personally I preferred. For it's up to you whether you want to use the one that you're given or whether you want to buy one. I can't say that every uni will give you one, but it may be worth waiting until Freshers to find out. Here I have a little letter from my niece and nephew saying that they hope I do really well and a little further down I have my darts board just down here obviously I have my bed and on top of my bed I've got my Silmarillion pillow my water bottles my Scoutic blanket and my Slytherin pillow and then I have my light for late night reading then just beside my bed I keep my slippers because um, I don't want to be walking around the flat barefoot. Up here you have a bin, then next to my bin I have hello, I have my sink and on my sink I keep my deodorant, soap, a shot glass for some reason, I don't know why that's there. I've got this little rubber duck which I won during Freshers week, I had to shoot down a target to win him. Then I've got my aftershave, vitamins, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, and obviously a flannel. Then on top, I keep my shaving cream, my razor, a thing to keep my room smelling nice, something to clean my face with, a comb, one hairspray, and hair gel sort of thing. It's kind of more of a map, but hey. And another deodorant and an electric razor, because why not? I've obviously got another light there and a mirror here. I do also have a mirror on the inside door of my wardrobe. And just below the sink, I have a little bit more storage, which I use to keep all of my spares away, and also my hair trimmer, and all of my towels. I do also have some under bed storage which is used mostly to keep duplicates and boxes away because I don't want boxes cluttering up the room. Now that my room's done, let's go take a look at the kitchen. This door is actually the most irritating part of the kitchen because of that thing there which basically means that we can't have the door open for more than like 10 seconds without it making a horrible buzzing noise. Then next to the door we have a notice board for the flat. We've just got some cleaning supplies because cleaning is important. We have two fridge freezers right, right here. Um, very useful. I've got this shelf, uh, a little space in the door, and down in there is my area of the fridge freezers. I am sharing with eight people, so two fridge freezers between us is plenty. Uh, next to that I have this cupboard, which contains an ironing board, a uh, just more cleaning supplies, uh, bin bags up here, and our uh, irons. Then over here we have a reef. A flat reef 
which I wanted to hang on for a door, but apparently we aren't allowed to hang stuff on fire doors. So, that sucks. Then, we have our pile of chairs here, which is useful because right in the centre of the room, we have uh, this whopping great table. Moving further around, we've got the uh, Christmas stocking, we've got a uh, Christmas tree, um, spare tinsel, and a random banana. I'm not sure what that's doing there. Oh well. Um, then we've got our uh, Christmas garlands. Um, these are some unclaimed plates, bowls, and Tupperware from when we first moved in, so I don't know what we're planning to do with them. Uh, that is actually mine, so I need to pick that up, but the rest of it is just random bits and bobs. Then as we move over here, you'll see we have uh, our recycling boxes. Up here we have the kettle and toaster that our flats provided us with, which I didn't actually think about. I brought a kettle and toaster because I thought that we might not get provided with one, and they live over here now. Um, next to the microwave. Along this area we have overhead storage, um, just a reasonable amount. Uh, this one up here is mine. So up here I keep all of my mugs and my soup bowls and then down here I've got bowls, plates and glasses. As we move along this surface we've also got the salt which we're all sharing. In here I've got sugar, even though it says biscuits on it. Don't don't question my logic. Um, these are just some bits that have been left out by one of my flatmates. Then down in here I've got a little bit more storage which is where I keep all of my cooking supplies and all of my food and whatnot. I've also got a drawer each which this one is mine. So it's not the most neatly organised but it basically contains everything else like my herbs, my spices and my cutlery. I've got my oven and hob and this extractor fan, which is the noisiest thing ever. Let me uh, give you a sample. This is it on a high level. And that's it back at what a normal low level is. I hate it. Over here, as I said, we have the microwave, we have oven gloves, a tin opener, and a scourer, just in case. Um, then we've got our bin down here, we've got more underside storage just there, where I keep my washing up liquid. Just on top of the bin, we have a drying rack, which obviously you use to store your stuff after doing your washing up in one of these two sinks. And um, now, normally we'll have one sink piled high with stuff, or, as you can see I've done, we put the stuff for one day on this side, and then we wash all of that at the end of the day. That's the kitchen. I'll just give you one last quick look around. Oh, and by the way, all of this is in a Pendle standard room, which is in, as we would call it, Pendle ghetto. Because our college is divided up into two departments, well, not departments per se, but two areas. We've got this area, Pendle Ghetto, and kind of in a separate area of campus, you have Pendle Posh, which is all of the area with the en-suites. But, um, yeah, that was the kitchen. So, between the eight of us, hello again, we have two rooms and two shower rooms. So, this is our shower room. We've got some books, uh, obviously, door lock, and then I bought a bath mat, but they don't come as standard in, uh, in this accommodation, or any as far as I'm aware. So if you're going to have a bath mat, you're going to need to buy your own. And then just in here, we have our lovely shower, which I have to say, as a relatively tall man, I'm about 6'2", I can actually stand up in, so you know, it's it's quite alright, and the temperature gauge isn't too bad either. And uh, we've got about four shelves in there, which obviously each one of us has in the bits of. And in the bathroom, obviously you've got the bog brush, the actual bog, and the bog roll. We actually do have a bog roll uh, 
container, but that's kind of the spare mural that we have. Around here we have our mirror again, sup, and then just down here we have a nice little sink. To now, bear in mind, I'm sharing with eight people as I said. Um, now, I've gone for mixed accommodation, which means that four of us are guys, myself included, and um, four of the people in my flat are girls. So, you know, I have to say I have not had a problem with any of them as of yet. All of them have been brilliant. I hope that this has given you a good idea of what university rooms are generally like. Obviously, like I said, mine is just a standard room in uh, one of the cheaper colleges up in the north of England. So, um, my room actually cost me about £103 a week, which for a university room is relatively cheap. Ensuite rooms up at Lancaster, I believe, are around £117 at a starting price and go up if you get a bigger room or a superior ensuite or anything like that. But this is kind of your average price for a standard accommodation thing at Lancaster. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, thanks for watching all. I shall catch you next time.